I compared women with what was said to be the human voice and said that that once that for that conversation had not included women. It is hard now to remember that that was something that happened. I mean, this in a different voice came out in the 1980s, recently, relatively recently. It's like people didn't know there were no women in the studies of how to treat heart attacks or, or in the medical. As graduate students, we were told, don't put women in your studies because it will just mess up your results. So there was a problem in the representation of what was human, and it was a distortion of both men and women, but the distortion was different in terms of men were portrayed as having no feelings, as not needing relationships, as you know, being kind of disembodied minds. Women were portrayed as sort of awash in emotions, you know, particularly at certain times in the month kind of thing, and having no self but having relationships, which doesn't even make sense, because if you have no self, who's in relationships? It doesn't even make sense. And being sort of like run by our bodies, anatomy is destiny. And that's a distortion of both. That's what my work was about. This whole paradigm is distorting our understanding of ourselves. Mm -hmm.